Good afternoon. I am Tom Lauterbach, and this is Jessica Ladd. We are here to do the weekly up weekly update report. Over to Jessica. This is a message from John Brown. Rachel B shares this personal experience. The personal experience. The other day, I was out for my morning run, definitely avoiding dog walkers and kids on bikes, when an older mask-wearing gentleman tripped and fell in a crosswalk. My first instinct, everyone's first instinct, instinct, was to head over and help. But at almost the exact moment, we all reared up and stopped, suddenly remembering that none of us were supposed to go anywhere near an older, mask-wearing gentleman. Luckily, he was fine and waved us all off. It was then I realized that another pandemic woe is now on our list. As much as we might want to, we just can't always help. That does create frustration. However, since the COVID-19 lockdown, many of us have found ways to encourage support and assist others. Use of land phones, cell phones, texts, emails, and the use of computers and iPads. All these means of communication have enabled us to maintain contact with others. Central Church family, we have now done this for months, and the need for caring for each other never ends. Galatians 6 9 states, Let us not become weary in doing good. May I encourage you to keep up the good work. Reverend John. Thank you, Jessica. The, the Central United Church transition team needs your input. Please read the, you, their report, and it's at www centraluc.ca member files then please get in touch with one of us by phone or email and let us know your thoughts concerns questions and feelings about the work of the transition team is doing or anything else you want us to know about central here are the names and contact information for central members of the transition team if you would like to read uh, Pastor Paul's message, it is on our church website at www.centraluc.ca. And now, a song from Lori. Are you or anyone in your family celebrating a birthday, anniversary, or new addition to the family? Let us know. We'd like to share the good news. Please submit announcements for the coming week to the church office via phone or email by Thursday morning at 10. The Fletcher family, Carl and Catherine, became grandparents on June 29th. Their son, Mark, and his wife, Tiffany, became parents to the daughter, Evelyn Archie Fletcher. All is well. Please join us Sunday mornings at 1030. Central United and First United online services. Go to the Central United Church website. Sunday online service, please use the link shown below on our church website 
www.centralloc.ca slash online church. A message from the Alzheimer's Society. Please find attached the Summer Dementia Friendly Communities newsletter. In it, you will find resources and information about what is happening at the Alzheimer's Society, Elgin St. Thomas, and exciting things that are coming up and what we want you to be involved with. They are working remotely and you can get more information 509-633-4396. As always. Central still needs your financial support during this time of isolation. For information on how to donate at this time, you can go to our website www.centraluc.ca donations. Or you can even mail a check to the office or drop, drop it off in the mailbox. The pastoral care continues to send cards of notes out for illness, etc. However, at this time of physical distancing and self-isolation, there may be some of you who know who is struggling and appreciate a card or phone call. Please let them know by contacting Judy Land at 63 try again 519-633-3947 or Marge Hodgson at 519 519- Six three three nine three eight one. For pastoral care needs, you can call Pastor Paul at five one nine eight seven zero eight nine eight one, and he takes Fridays off for the long weekend. Uh, or you can call Reverend John five one nine six three 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 eight nine four, and he takes Mondays off. Thank you for inviting us into your homes for this broadcast. Uh, we appreciate your time and kindness. And Jess, what do you have to say? Stay safe and stay cool.